Hey everybody, here we have this HP 15 notebook PC in for service. The reason why it was brought in for service was because the owner spilt some drink on it and it was just water that he spilled on it. But I did have to tear this apart and clean off the motherboard because it was starting to, you could see the residue on the motherboard where it was, it would have started corroding things had action not been taken. And also I had to replace the keyboard on this because half the keys didn't work, possibly due to the drink spill. But we got another issue with this thing, and I don't know if it's related to the drink spill or what, but um, I noticed the performance of this machine is just not up to par. Now, this is not a very high-end machine by any means. It's a uh, it's one of HP's solid-state laptops, as I call it. Um, if it weren't for the optical disk drive on this, it would be a totally solid-state machine because the CPU has no cooling fan. It's just a aluminum plate in there so no active cooling but what's crazy is um, I've noticed this thing has just not been running fast at all seems really sluggish CPU usage doesn't ever get to 100% but one thing that's bizarre is look at the speed we're just running at 500 megahertz we're like a Pentium 3 boys and girls <laughs> 500 megahertz like no wonder this thing is not running fast. It's it's really clocked down and the first thing I thought is okay, maybe it's uh maybe it's running hot or something, I don't know. But let's go into my utilities and let's fetch HW monitor. Like you can see here, this scrolling through Hort, um Fox floor <laughs> there's like a delay there. There's lag that normally would not be there. Now I've serviced this computer many times, or at least a few times, um, since it was brand new. First thing I did to it back in 2017 was I put a solid state drive in it for the guy. And uh, it's been in a couple of times for just various things since then. So if we go into HW Monitor. Notice the uh, program's hanging up. So it's showing uh, cores max 42 degrees Celsius. Not sure why it's in red like that. I mean, 42 degrees C is not a critically high number by any means. I would expect these solid state laptops run even hotter than that. But you can see right there, all four cores. We're locked at 500 megahertz. It's like a quad core Pentium 3. <laughs> Not exactly. Pentium 3 would be much slower. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's 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 really just struggling big time. What's interesting is here in power plans, you don't even have the option to choose high performance or um, energy saving. It's it's all kind of well missing. And there's just other, there's just a few other odd things going on with this install on Windows 10. I'm actually kind of wondering if there has been some damage to the motherboard due to the drink spill and perhaps this is what's, what could be causing this odd behavior. Again, as I've mentioned, we are locked at 500 megahertz. Nothing higher than that. And this CPU normally should clock one up to 2.16 gigahertz when you're doing some demanding stuff and it's clearly not doing that another thing I should note is we are currently plugged into AC power you can see right there it does indicate that we are plugged in so it's not an issue of it running on battery power but even if it was running on battery power it would still be faster than this okay so what I've done is I have copied over the file for HW Monitor onto my USB flash drive for Windows 10 installation and I booted it into Windows 10 setup. This is also known as Windows PE or pre-installation environment. It is a running uh, OS and what I've done is I've launched HW Monitor in this environment and you can see we are still running at 500 megahertz and I noticed 
it was running at 500 megahertz because it was taking a very, very, very long time to get into the whole setup thing. It took a while to boot up into this. So, I'm thinking we have a damaged motherboard. I think the drink spill got in there and it's damaged some components on the motherboard. It's kind of a it's kind of bizarre because you can see the thing still turns on and runs. It's just we have very limited uh, CPU right now. It's it's like it's stuck at its lowest frequency. You know these things normally they can clock around to, to various uh, frequencies, but we are literally stuck at 500 megahertz. So. That being said, we're going to actually get out of this and go into setup. Okay, so we're in the setup utility now, and as I think I mentioned, this um, BIOS is limited. But let's look at the log here, and you can see there are some. There are some logs up here. There, there are some codes up here at the top. We see one from 2017, but that's it. So not much there to tell you of any like major issues. I was looking to see if maybe we had something logged, but it's. I mean, this thing literally um, does not give you hardly anything at all. I mean. I mean, there's there's hardly anything here to configure other than boot settings and, and stuff like that. So one thing I could try doing is look on HP's website and see if there is a BIOS update for this thing, and maybe just try flashing the BIOS. But I'd, like I said, I'm not real sure if that's going to fix anything on this thing. Okay, so HP did have a BIOS update. For this machine from 2020 so we'll go ahead and run through this utility here now I should note with a laptop it's important that you do have of course your uh, AC supply plugged in that we have a redundant backup source of power when you flash a BIOS like this on a side note, um, I'm noticing that the motherboard is not charging the battery. It just says it's plugged in. It's uh, not actually charging. It's, the battery's been sitting at half for a little while now. So if this BIOS flash does not resolve this issue that we're having, then this motherboard is probably damaged. I mean, one other thing we could try is uh, to remove the CMOS battery and leave it off the CMOS battery for a little while and pop it back in, see if that fixes it. But, like I say, I just don't know for sure. And you can see it's just taking forever to load this BIOS flash. I mean, it's obviously, it's, it's doing something in the background, but, I mean... <laughs> 500 megahertz is not a lot of uh, when you run at 500 megahertz is definitely not a lot of things going on we'll say that for sure like it's it's weird the CPU maxes out at 23 uh, like 23 percent I've never seen it go any higher than that you see it's hanging around it's hanging out at about like 15 right now if we go to performance I mean yeah, it's just all four cores are hardly getting utilized. And again, 500 megahertz. Okay, let's go ahead and run this BIOS update utility. Alright, so we're going to update. Yeah, see right now it thinks it's not running on AC power. Yeah, it is. It's, it's running on AC power. Let's disconnect it briefly and plug it back in. Alright, we're going to click next. 
Alright, let's go ahead and restart and we'll complete the update. Alright, let's go ahead and apply this update. I guess I'll wait for this to count down first. Okay, it is currently installing the update. Okay, the update is completed. So it's going to restart now. Still more to do, apparently. Okay. Based off the performance of this thing, thinking we're still locked at 500 megahertz yet we are still locked at 500 megahertz so the only thing I can think to do now is uh, just shut this thing down pull the CMOS battery off the motherboard which looks like we're going to tear this thing completely apart to do that um, I'll have to double check for sure so let's go ahead and just shut it down and let's see if we're lucky the CMOS battery will be in the compartment where the RAM is can't remember for sure if it was there or not and you know, we're still waiting on this thing to shut down of course Windows 10 that's how it behaves it's that little Wi-Fi light is still on we're waiting on it to go off Alright, so let's go ahead and unplug everything. And we'll take the battery out, set it to the side, and of course down here is this little compartment. Great. All right, so we're going to tear this back apart again. So that being said, I'm going to end it for here. And I'll do an update if anything changes. So looks like until further notice, this motherboard is probably done. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.